Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is going to be a talk trip, springtime talk trip. Uh, just a few days past May, uh, beginning of May here. So this is a spot I usually don't fish until a little bit later in the season when the water warms up. But right now the water is saying it's 51 degrees where I am now. So these talks should be ch uh, chewing. Um, Scup's open now. Uh, Togs open with a minimum of uh, 16 inches, uh, three fish, only one over 21. And that's really it, guys. Um, still a early spring program <clears throat> here. So it is what it is. You know, it's going to be probably a little bit slower than normal, but uh, the big scup should be showing up right now. And uh, I don't think anybody's been fishing the tog, so hopefully there's a couple big ones kicking around in the, amongst all the little ones. And uh, we're going to see what happens here, guys. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's get fishing. All right, so here's the usual. It's going to be a lima bean jig with a half a crab. Um, scup and tog at the target today. And with any luck, we're going to get into them. Let's go. Oh, that didn't take very long at all. For a little tug. That took all of half a second. Um, obviously today's gonna be a tog trip and uh, keepers that I wanna keep them are gonna get tagged. Uh oh, that's a big fish. And I'm in the rocks. Come on. Try to steer him out nice and gentle. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's land this one. It's a big female. Obviously, we're not going to harvest this fish, but. That's a nice fish right there, guys. Oh, she is all banged up. She is still pretty. All right, there she is. She's gonna get released with the tag. Hopefully somebody catches her and get some more data. All right. Pretty awesome. That's another nice one. Now the trick is, is getting them out of the rocks because this is a big rock pile right here. I'm fishing the edge of and man, they want to be in that rock pile. There we go. You see him coming out with weeds because they're scrubbing against the weeds on the way out. It's a nice keeper. It's the size we want. Nice male. So this one here, if he's legal, then he should be just there. All right, 16 and a quarter. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, this one's right on the line. He's like 16, depending on how you measure him, but um, we don't need him that bad, right? So let's cut him loose and we'll catch some more fish today. when he's a dog pretty much here. That's a nice one. Yeah, nice male. 
Should be, should be a legal one. Take a quick measure. There we go. Yep. 16. And a quarter. Perfect. That's a good eating size too. Second spot of the day here. Um, I might have missed it. Give this a second. We don't get on them right away. Ow. All right, they promised wind. Here it is. That's a pretty fast action, I'd say. This one's got some nice head shakes on it, actually, make a decent fish. Keeper potential. If I don't lose them in the process, there we go. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's gonna be close. early for these things um, so I figured they'd be in the deeper water they weren't in the shallow like they usually are um, got to be 11 inches to keep in here it's just like about 13 inches so 12 and a half so this one's this one's legal one of the better eating fish on the uh, near shore fishery here and uh, extremely underrated fry these things up polar unbelievable Sure, he's good. Oh, just got it. We're gonna triple check him. Yeah, uh, you know what? He's a keeper. He is 16 and a whisker. Let's see. Oh, I got it. He's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's good. He's good. This is a female. She's 
all banged up too. Now, that fish I caught earlier in the day was banged up like this as well. And uh, it's interesting to see that all these females are really banged up. But uh, she's gonna get a tag and she's gonna swim, so. All right, we have 17 inches to the fork. All right, 17 inch female. Going back to spawn with a tag. Eesh. Scuff right there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ah, you would have sworn that was a tog. Look at the size of that scuffzilla. Outstanding. Woo. Just out of curious. First one of the year, so I don't know really how big how big it is. almost 15 14 and three quarter inch that's nice this is a big fish this is a really big fish wow I get the drag tight down probably too much to be honest with you. This fish is just having its way with me. Oh man. It's not a striper. I didn't know this was a tog. Big tog. Holy Christ. I don't think I've ever caught one this big in here. Big spring tog, guys. Wow. He felt, he felt big. Fighting this tide here. That's a nice fish, guys. Bigger spring tog I've ever caught, if not the biggest. Let's get a measure on him real fast. It's never easy. <laughs> wow, that's a really big spring. That's a big spring boy right there, guys. Right there, tipped. 21 and a half. 21 and a half, huh? Woo! Oh boy. Uh oh. I got. Ah. Okay, it's a little bit of a mess right now. I just got that uh, big tog and I'm looking down tide, and there's a school of stripers working up this way. Man, that's a big boy. Big school of stripers coming up. Oh, they're actually underneath me. All right, I got a fish flows. That's why I got that ready. Let's go see if we can catch bass. Oh, 
there they come. All right, let's get this get this wrapped up here. Uh, oh God. Okay. Well, that's on me. I put that rod down in the water. Oh, look at the stripes below the boat. And I saw a school coming up behind me. It's a nice fish. And I wanted to clear the rod, so I just let the rod, uh, the bait settle down in the water. And before I reeled up, I get into a striper, which is really cool. Oh man, this is... This fish just got to have its way with me. Yeah, There's nothing wrong with that. I wish I could say that I actually caught the, I hooked this fish, but I think the fish was just, just there. Look at these stripers, holy God. This is the first wave of bass coming up. Uh, they just showed up like this week, so. Oh, that's a legal fish. still here too. I'll show you guys what I do to catch these bass in this current. Uh, just because of that fishery science data stuff. Um, I'm going to do a quick measure on them. Uh, I'm not a keeper. 27, 27 and a half inches guys. Let's get this nice, nice big schoolie back. Let's catch another one. I got to prep up the tags. Well, awesome. Oh, there's this one. There's blowing kayak. What am I doing? One thing I've noticed with these tsunamis I don't like is that drag slip. That was very bad drag slip for a hook set. I've seen that when a melee fish done. Go to the hook on an alley and it just goes. I almost wish I had heavier, a heavier rod for this. I want to catch a lot of these fish. This is when striped fishing for me is fun. It's when it's good and easy. I'm not exactly the best striped fisher in the world, I can tell you that. I'm not gonna sit here and complain. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Let's get a quick measure. And we're gonna get right back down there. 
I'll throw a tag on this one. I don't tag many stripers, so why not, right? Get the measure. That fish machine's lit up a bass. It's got a clip fin or something. Uh, it's 24 and a half. That. And uh, the fork length for the tag is going to be 23 and 3 quarter. Here we go. Tag's already prepped up. Very quick tag and release. Water is really cold too, so let's just wolf. All right, guys, gonna be wrapping it up right here. This is the first video of uh, a two-part series for this trip. The uh, fishing was very good this day, and uh, this is so much footage. I don't want to give you guys an hour-long video. It would probably just get pretty boring. Um, so, leaving off with the stripers here, the next video will start with this uh, pretty decent bite I had of bass. Uh, what else do we have? We got the tog fishing, it was phenomenal. Uh, some big fish, and this video had a really good one. Uh, the next video will have a couple nice fish, um, lots of tagging. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did enjoy it, just throw me a like or subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, there is a uh, list of what I use down in the description for this video, so if you need to figure out what I'm using, you should see it there. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it.